Hi, I'm Sheen Zari from Zarkor Homes, Zarkor Construction. Today, we're back for the final episode of Zarkor Fix This House at 2907 Montreal Crescent. So we're gonna go through the house and show you guys what we've been up to for the last uh, three, four months. And hopefully you guys love what we've done with this project. So let's start off. Actually, we got a bonus for this episode. The city of Regina was nice enough to pave all the roads here in the front. So that's been done as well which makes it uh, really beneficial for whoever is going to own this house. They're going to have this nice, beautiful paved road. As you can see, we have re-landscaped the whole front yard and backyard. Uh, we've put some sod, put some river rock, and then we put the big rock over there. So it just it has a nice little accent that makes the property and the curb appeal really pop when you're you know, driving up to the house or walking up to your house. So since the last episode, we've really developed the whole entire backyard as well. As you can see, we've put a deck up. We've also put some rock. We've landscaped the grass as well. So again, you have uh, some zero scape, some grass, a nice deck that you can relax in the summer times and really enjoy this beautiful neighborhood. Another thing that we've done, we have a, we've rebranded the entire double door garage. The good thing about this garage is it has two separate doors. So you know, you can park your car easily in the garage and you have a lot of space to even have storage in there. So the backyard really, really turned out really nice from what it was to what it is now. How about we go inside and show you guys what we've done in there. So we're back inside the house. So I'm going to take you guys through, show you what we've done since last episode. So since then, the living room is all done now. As you can see, uh, the hardwood has been refinished for the, the living area and the two bedrooms and it looks really, really nice. The dining room area has all been set up as well. And then the masterpiece of the house, the kitchen. Uh, as you can see, uh, opening up this wall, the big island, uh, it really, really, really looks good. Uh, also, the kitchen has uh, soft closed drawers and doors. So whoever owns this house are gonna really enjoy uh, using this kitchen. Also, with the living room, the kitchen and dining room, big, big windows which allow a lot of natural light to come through the house. So let me take you guys through the bedrooms upstairs and the bathroom and show you what we've uh, done in there. Start off with the flooring, we use the vinyl tile plank. It looks really sharp, very durable. Uh, whoever owns this house is gonna really enjoy having this product in the house. In the bathroom, we've re the entire bathroom. Uh, where that old big chimney was, we took that out, put the toilet there, put a vanity here, and a custom tile shower. As you can see, it turned out really, really nice. And uh, whoever owns this house is gonna really enjoy this bathroom. In this bedroom, they're, they're, they're both like a master bedroom, so there's a lot of room. You can put a king size bed, queen size bed, whatever works for you. Original hardwood, big window, and we added these extra cabinets, so uh, you don't, you know, for extra clothing, shoes, tie rack, whatever uh, someone wants to put in there, they have these extra storage now in the bedrooms that is part of the house. Another main feature of the upstairs is this mudroom. As you can see, it's a really, really big mudroom. Uh, the, the washer goes here, the dryer goes here, and you have this nice table set up so you can fold your clothes and do your laundry. So this mudroom is very spacious. Lots of closet space as well to hang your coats or boots or whatever you like to put in there. But uh, it turned out really well from what it was when we took over originally. So we're in the basement now guys and there's a two bedroom regulation suite in here. So I'll take you through and show you what the final product looked like. One thing that we did was for the entire house which looks really good. We painted all the doors gray versus your traditional white. So it gives it a little feature uh, and you'll see this throughout the entire house. So here's your living room downstairs uh, with the big windows, lots of natural light. It really doesn't feel like a basement suite. The kitchen, again, turned out really nice. We did the same thing downstairs for the kitchen and we did upstairs and we wanted to keep it consistent. So I'll take you to the bathroom and show you what we've done in the bathroom downstairs. Um, as you can see, we try to keep it very consistent with upstairs, the custom shower, the toilet and the vanity. And we also added some cabinet here for some extra storage uh, for whoever lives down here or rents down here. So we're downstairs in the master bedroom. Um, 
The master bedroom has a really nice size, uh, lots of natural light with the big windows and also a really, really cool walk-in closet with a lot of storage with the uh, closet organizers. The entire house has closet organizers in every closet, so it makes it very functional for whoever is going to be living there and using it. So guys, we are finally uh, finished this project and this will be our last episode of Zarkor Fix This House for 2907 Montreal Crescent. So let's make it official and put our sign in and you know, let everybody know that we have completed this job. The house will be on the market August 31st, 2017 and there will be uh, open houses ran regularly. So if you get a chance, please come by, take a look. I think you'll really like to see this in person. Thank you again and I really appreciate you guys watching these last three episodes.